everything about you is negative, 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 negative. The whole anglophone, Research mass of you 80 percent, you have negative mindset. It's not good. Change, change. If not, eh, you, they you will now remain so. Now, place go, they always will place go. <laughs> Cameroonians, love yourself. Love yourself, especially Cameroonian youth. You are too negative. Let me be, let me let me talk to you. That's why you see even government, you see most of our government officials, our fathers, grandfathers, I because God has seen the heart of youth. They are power, if they give you power, mm -mm, you will destroy a lot of things, you will spoil things. So God has just allowed our, our ancestors to be there, to lead us. Yes, it's better. I, I agree that I've seen it. You speak positive, it's a problem. You speak negative, problem. You pray for your country to be fine. They come and insult you. What is that if you want? The most funny hearts of Cameroonians are Anglophones. Let me be honest to you. I'm a prophet. There's nothing you can do me, trust me. Trust me. If you like me, if you like, if you think I'm joking, go and ask General No Pity. General No Pity that died in Bamenda, they put you on city chemist. Go and ask him. Call his spirit and ask him. He will tell you what happened to him. I'm not joking with anybody. I love peace. But if you come for war, trust me, I'm war. I want problems. Always. Yes. It's stupid. It's funny. Cameroonian youth, love yourself. Look at most of the people. That's why a lot of your billionaires, millionaires, they don't invest in Southwest and Northwest. Hey, Look at Ken, uh, Ken Quintus. Ken Quintus, I, I celebrate you. God bless you, Ken Quintus. You are also doing a good job. That's Ken Quintus. Ken Quintus. Look at the empire he has built in, in Douala. Let me put some small sense in the head of Anglophones, Cameroonians. That's Ken Quintus. He has built an empire. If that structure was that been here in Limbe or Boya or Bamenda, do you know how many Anglophone youths would have been employed? Many of you would have been employed there, many of you. But because of your negative mindset, everything about you is negative, negative, negative. Some of us are not just preaching gospel because we are frustrated. No, I've never been frustrated. I was a millionaire. I left it, then I'm doing gospel. What I was called is a calling. I'm passionate to preach gospel. If the whole Anglophone, most of you, 80 percent, you have negative mindset. It's not good. Change. Change. If not, eh, you will now remain so. Now, please go there, only soon. Now, please go there, only soon. I'll tell CY International. May, sing, may find some song singer for myself. I don't too much. CY International is there preaching peace, preaching love. Unite yourself, love yourself. You want to kill him. You want to break the head of CY International. CY it's International, bad. I'm praying for you. I'm it's seeing bad. you. I'm praying for you. I'm seeing you. God bless you. Keep doing your job. We are all wearing the same shoes. They will change by fire by force. Anglophone Cameroonians, they will change by fire by force. Be positive in life. Stop being negative. Stop it. Look at all your celebrities. Most of them are staying in Douala. Most of them are staying in Yaoundé. Why are they not staying in Boya? Because they know you have bad negative mindset. You they will not grow. Trust me, if I was in Dwala or Yaoundé, a lot of mega things would have happened. I would not be rich or sincere. If I was in Dwala or Yaoundé, I would have built this ministry since. But you're an Anglophone place, the highest thing you get after you do it, after you have good work, is insult and critics and attacks. It's not good. Cameroonian youth, love yourself. Nigeria have a, a policy. We rise by rising others. We rise by lifting others. That's their policy. And it's working. Let's rise by lifting others. All this bully on social media, insulting you are old prophet after speaking well for your country to advance, praying for the indomitable life. I was giving prophetic instruction. The best you would have done was to even write Ringo Bell's song, tag him, tag Ringo Bell's song, say, hey, Ringo Bell's song. Prophet Elijah is saying something. I wish you respond to what this man of God is saying. It will cost you nothing. Where you are, there is free internet. It will cost you nothing. The number of the prophet is there. Call this prophet. Just call ah. him. Give him a try. Let him pray. Hey. Let him pray. Trust me, things would have changed. Things would have changed. But no, it's a fake. He's a fake. He's looking for attention. He's a fake. He's looking for this. What? 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 For how long? For how long, Cameroonians? Anglophone Cameroonians, for how long? We are the problem to our problem. Stop blaming others. That video, you are watching me now and I'm praying for you. One thing that attracts me so much and I love so much about David Doe of Nigeria is because of the fact that he loves God. He loves God. How many celebrities did you see? I went to church in crossover night and pray and crossover. How many celebrities in Cameroon? But that's a celebrity, billionaire, multi-billionaire, went to church in crossover, prayed to God, prayed to God. There's some youths in Cameroon that they even, they even have, uh, we see which I can say it, but you insult a man or insult a prophet. Why God, why would God bless that we do? That's the son of a billionaire. He's a billionaire. Crossover, he went to church and prayed. Cameroonian artists, celebrities, learn from Nigerians, artists and celebrities. Let's be honest. They are proving to us, these people love, they know how to love. You cannot touch Nigeria, man. Everybody will gather. I have seen it from this video. Somebody, ah, why is he calling celebrity name? Why is he not calling ordinary people? Let I me mean, make you ordinary. How can you become a celebrity when your own mindset is only negative mindset? If you want to be great, celebrate great people. That's life.